I'm Lynn Kazali and thrilled to be saying I'm coming to Wellington in New Zealand in August. So to talk through what I'll be doing that week, I wanted to run through each of the workshops that I'm hosting. So if you're interested in one of these topics, I'll be giving you a bit more information about what each of them are. Let's go. Here's the first one. On the Monday, the 14th of August in the morning, each of these workshops is three and a bit hours. Accelerated learning techniques used in all of them. No fluff, no filler or thriller. And the first one is on visual sense making. Now this is the capability and the skill of sense making, which the Institute for the Future said we would need for these times. And for those who have heard of or seen or been before to one of my sessions where I use visuals, this is the workshop. It's not necessarily about drawing or sketching, but it does give you some wonderful skills to think about your ideas, get them out onto either paper, flip chart, whiteboard, digital tablet, drawing app, and therefore be able to share them with other people, present them or collaborate on them. So I'll provide all the materials, just come along and look forward to spending a fantastic morning with you exploring these skills of visual sense making. Many people say this workshop changes their life, <laughs> changes their life because they're able to work out what they're thinking articulate that information and then present or deliver or share that information with others. So whether you run your own business or practice or you're a leader, a manager, communications or marketing expert, then visual sense making brings together these wonderful skills of thinking and communicating. In Wellington on August the 15th, I'll be running a morning session on advanced facilitation techniques. Now don't get too worried if you don't feel you're ready for advanced, as long as you've done some sort of training or development in facilitation. So it could be a short course, it might have been a course online, or if you've had what you feel like is a fair bit of time leading meetings or leading workshops, then get along to this session because what I'll be doing is taking you through some of the capabilities that really lift not only your confidence and understanding about how groups work, but also the processes that we can use as facilitators. I think we can have a fairly narrow view about either what facilitation involves or what tools or techniques we can use. You know, post-it note and Sharpie, anyone? That's just one tool or one technique. So what I'll do in this session is bring your capability up several levels. We'll talk about how groups behave, how people behave, and how processes can work as a facilitator, work to our advantage and work to the group's advantage to achieve an outcome. And hey, I'd love you to bring along if you've got questions, challenges, concerns, if you've had some nightmare facilitation, bring along that experience a support group will be there for you. We will talk about what happened and how we might be able to handle those sorts of things in the future. And in this session, we'll also do the what ifs. So if your worst nightmare does happen or if the thing happens that you are most worried about, we will have a look at the techniques for that. And I found that addressing those sorts of challenges really helps lift our confidence about going, yeah, I can, I can handle anything that happens in a group now. On the Thursday, the 17th, again in the morning, I'll be running a workshop on change tools. So this is ideal for leaders, managers, change management experts, people that are involved in leading change and transformation in organisation. These are nine, possibly 10 key tools that can make such a difference when you're engaging with people and needing to explain what's going on and what the change is about. And bring along an example. So if you're working on a change or transformation project at the moment, bring it along, bring along a little bit of information about it so we can apply the change tools to it and you'll walk away with a great plan and program of information and communication about change and leading change. Friday morning, I'll be leading a session on speaking, that is public speaking, presentation skills. If you've either been booked 
or engaged or you've submitted to speak at a conference and that's coming up and you'd like to lift your ability to speak and communicate, then get along to this session. Equally, if you run your own business or practice and you've been perhaps coaching or training and you're thinking you'd like to do a bit more speaking, again, this could be an ideal session for you. I'll go through some of the key capabilities for speaking, presenting and delivering great information in conference presentations. Needless to say, it doesn't necessarily involve PowerPoint. Well, that's not where you create your talk anyway. And bring along questions, queries, concerns that you might have about how you might set up and structure your presentation. But also if you're looking at speaking commercially, let's talk about some of the challenges and some of the creative ways of generating work and also liaising with clients. So these are the four topics I'm bringing to Wellington in New Zealand from August the 14th through to the 18th. These are morning workshops. I'll use accelerated learning techniques. So they will be cutting to the chase, getting to the point. We'll have great time uh, to have connection and conversation, morning tea break, but also you'll come away with great new skills and the ability to put these skills into practice. I look forward to seeing you there. Registrations are happening through Eventbrite and don't worry, I'll provide everything. Just bring yourself along and I really look forward to reconnecting with lots of the people I know and friends that I have in New Zealand, kicking off with Wellington on this trip. I hope to see you there.